Hello, hello. Okay, welcome back to another Sweat with Soap episode. You can get your running shoes on like I'm doing. Um, so we're gonna do something different today. I have the music playing in a headphone and I'm gonna film the class without music and then going to link the playlist so that you can listen to it exactly the way it was intended or you can uh, play your own music and do your own thing or listen to, or do the class without music. So yeah, we're gonna try this way, we'll see how it goes. Um, if it's weird, let me know. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it is. I've also arranged the camera a little bit so you can actually see the mat on the floor now, which I think bodes well. Um, yeah, so we'll get started. Let me just get this set up here. You can get your playlist ready to go. Um, I will tell you when to hit play so that we're in sync. That way, if anything happens on the beat, you're not going to feel like you're off beat and that is weird. So let me just get it going. Okay, so you can hit play in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Perfect. All right, we've got a nice, fun, kind of like wonky song to get us started. So we need the end of our mat. Actually, you can face me first. Um, your feet are hip width apart and we're just going to start bringing the chin to the chest and back up. Big deep breaths here, landing on the mat, you know, checking into what we're doing right now, checking out of what we were just doing. Back and forth a couple more times. Awesome. Four, three, two, and one, you can start bringing the shoulders up and back. Focusing on that breathing here. You can move your hips a little, that's okay too. Awesome. In four, in three, in two, in one. Bring it the other way, forward. To me, this sounds great, because I get to hear the music. It might sound or like look weird to do this without the music, but. So far, so good. Awesome. In four, three, two, and one. We go to the end of the mat. Big inhale, stretch it out. <sighs> Bring it all down, let it all spill over. Hang here for just a moment, get a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Big inhale, bring it halfway up, stretch that back out, neck is long. <sighs> Exhale, bring it back down. Let it hang. Awesome, big deep breath in. Looking forward, <sighs> exhale and slowly walk it out into that plank. And just hold it here for a moment. We're gonna activate our core. Big inhale, <sighs> exhale, press it back to a down dog. Press those heels out a little. Awesome, big inhale. And exhale forward, holding that plank here. We're gonna bring the foot to the hand on the same side one at a time. It looks like this, bringing it forward, taking that hand, bringing it up, stretching up, getting a nice stretch in the glutes and back of the leg there, bring it down, stretch it out, hold for a moment, and other side. Excellent, keep it up. We're really just focusing on engaging, stretching, I'm breathing here. We're just getting started. Awesome. One more each side. Great. Awesome job. Okay, holding that plank now. I haven't forgotten about you. Hold it here. We're going to bring it back and forth. In four, three, two. Here we go. Front, back. And front and back. Keeping those hips high. Awesome. Keep it up. We're just getting started. Four more seconds here. Four, three, two. Bring the knees down. Catch your breath here. Take it into a quick child's pose. Get a nice deep stretch in those hips. Big deep breath one more time. I know I keep saying that, but it is super important. <laughs> okay, awesome. So we're going to go on to our backs. And we're gonna do the dead bug. So that looks like this. You're going to have your knees at a 90 degree angle. Your arms are straight up in front of you. That lower back, that curve of your back is pressed right into the ground. Your abs are tight and you're going to 
bring the opposite leg and arm extending in opposite directions one at a time we're just engaging that core awesome the tempo of the music is picking up a bit you can speed this up just make sure that that lower back is pressed to the floor awesome eight seven six five four three two and one excellent okay last little move here bring it back up and we're going to squat up and down and we're just going to get those legs warmed up a little bit we've kind of gotten the whole upper body going so we're going to do a wide leg squat your toes can be pointed out just a little bit so get comfy and we're going to go down and up full range of motion not too fast squeeze that bum at the top like you're sliding down the back of a wall awesome keep it up we're going to go into some pulses soon i feel warmed up i don't know about you but i feel warmed up <laughs> eight seven six five four three two and one hold it down and pulse pulse you got this you might hear that tempo pick back up again we're gonna follow it if it does down up down you got this hold it feels long this one does feel long but can you get lower can you get it a little deeper awesome make sure stay where you are but make sure that that pelvis is tucked in that back is flat keep it going 16 counts For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we flush it out, full range, down and up. You got this. Okay, we're warmed up, so we're gonna take it to a little hop. All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Looks like this. There you go. Pop it out. You can stay wide leg, or if it's more comfortable, you can bring it to a more traditional jump squat. But I like the way that this engages my inner thighs and my bum. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. That was our warm up. So I'm going to demonstrate what our first section looks like. It's all going to be on the floor. So we are going to start on all fours, and we're going to do a sequence. So. You can actually just follow along. Rather than showing you in advance, these are pretty comprehensive. You'll get it the second time around, if not. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna be on all fours. Those lower abs are engaged. That back is flat, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. And we're gonna start, pick one arm and one leg. Just make sure they're opposites. And we're gonna have them both stretched out, touching the floor. And for 30 seconds, we're gonna bring it up and down, and then we're gonna add on a move, okay? Here we go. So it's down and up, down and up, neck is long, really engaging from that bum. Not forgetting to breathe. You got this. Now in 15 seconds, we're gonna be adding on a move and we're gonna be bringing that arm and leg at the top, we're gonna be bringing them out from each other. So keep going for five seconds, four, three, Two, here we go. So it's down and up, out and in. Down, up, out and in. 30 seconds here. Your arm and your leg are going out away from each other, away from the core when you go out. 15 seconds here. We add on another move. I'm feeling the burn in my bum. Oh my gosh. All right, in five, we're going to be adding in a crunch. Four, three, two and one so it's down up out in crunch it all together in the center back out here we go down up out in crunch it in and again keep this up you're doing great crunch it in down and up out and in for four three two and one, just the crunch, 
Crunch it in. In and in. You got this. 30 seconds. Keep it going. Nice and tight. Awesome job. If you want to challenge, you can have this in a plank position, crunching in with that leg extended. It's hard. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna switch sides right away. Here we are. Four, three, two, and one. Up and down. Up and down. Awesome, through the silence. Oh, great song. It's a little bit a lower beat, but we love it. Why do we love it? Because it's Justin Bieber. <laughs> awesome. Keep that bum engaged, that back is flat. Seven seconds here, let's go. You know what comes next. Four, three, two, and one. It's down, and up, out, and in. Down, up, out, and in. Neck is long, back is flat, core is engaged, thumb is on fire. Awesome, 10 seconds here. You know what comes next. Keep it up, keep it up. In four, three, two, and one. It's down, up, out, in, and crunch. Extend, down, and up. Out, in, crunch, extend. You've got this. Oh, I messed it up there. <laughs> You know what to do. Down, up, out, and in. Crunch. Seven seconds. Then we go just to the crunch. Last one here. Down, up, out, in, and crunch. And crunch. You got this. Keep that crunch. Less than 30 seconds here. Keep it going. You got this. You got this. I'm going to prepare you for what comes next. Excellent. Okay, in four, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. We're going to go right into a bear pose. So on all fours, 30 seconds here. We're just going to bring it up and down in a bear. So your hands are still below your shoulders. Your knees are below your hips. And you're going to hover those knees up and down, okay? 30 seconds in four, three, two, here we go. It's up and down, up and down. Awesome, keep it up. Everything is pretty fired up here. Now after this move, you're gonna keep going, but at the end of the 30 seconds, we're gonna hold the plank, and I'm gonna explain while we hold the plank what the next move is. Eight seconds here, keep it up. Those quads are on fire for four, three, two, go to the plank, hold your plank. What we're gonna do is almost like a pipe, but you're gonna be popping it in and popping it back, okay? For 30 seconds. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Pop it up like straight, pop it back like straight. You're engaging that core, the legs remain straight. 30 seconds here, we're starting to build up the cardio. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Less than 15 seconds. And then you can groove it out a bit. We're going into our cardio section. For five, you've got this. Four, three, two, and one. Take a break. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna demonstrate the next section. So now we're really getting into it. Okay, we're doing rotating jump squats. 30 seconds, okay? You hit all three of those angles. We do that for 30 seconds. Then we, Lunge forward, hello. Twist towards that front leg, step it back. Other side, we alternate for 30 seconds. Then we go into our crunch, cross the feet jump, crunch other side, cross. Okay, 30 seconds. The next move after that, we go into uh, 30 seconds of burpees. I won't demonstrate that one. I think we all know how much it sucks and how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna skip to the next song here so that we have something a little bit more fun. I'm going to Miami by Will Smith, which we love. Okay, tighten that ponytail. 
pull up those, those leggings and sports bras. Here we go. Okay. We start with the jump squats, 45 seconds. Yeah, 45, not 30. Three, two, one, here we go. Jump it up, Oop. twist, center. Other side, center. 45 seconds. It's gonna feel long. You're gonna wanna really propel yourself. Use those arms, keep that core tight. We're already 20 seconds in, let's go. This is where the work gets put in. You got this. 30 seconds in, 15 seconds. You can do this. Here we go, here we go. 10 seconds here. Keep it up. Oh, I feel the burn. You got this, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Catch your breath. We're going into our next move. It's those front lunges. Whew. Four, three, two, here we go. Lunge it forward. Twist it and back. Lunge it forward. Twist it and back. I'll show you what it looks like this way. We lunge, we twist. Step it back. Oh my goodness. I am out of breath. Whew. If you're feeling good, you pick up that tempo. It's not meant to be easy. This one is supposed to keep your heart rate going. Whew. You got this. Whew. I love a good full body hit section. Keep that back straight. Keep those abs in. One more on the other side. Whew. 45 seconds done. Awesome job. Okay, we go into the standing cross knees. I'll show you one more time before we start. It's knee to opposite elbow. Hop cross, knee to opposite elbow. Three, two, one, here we go. As fast as you can, 45 seconds. Awesome. I feel good. How do you feel? Whew. Good job, keep it up. Twenty-five seconds in. Keep those abs tight. Keep those shoulders high. You got this. Keep it up. Keep it up. Fifteen seconds. Come on, up. Let's go. I literally know how strong you are. You're tougher than me. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, catch your breath. We're going right into the burpees. I'll give you a break while I fix my ponytail. Okay. Burpees we're just doing for 30 seconds. Now we repeat the whole thing, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hop it up. Bring it down. Push it down. Push it up. Bring it in. Bring it up. You can do your own variation here. I trust that you do know your variations, but you can do this totally low impact. 10 seconds here, let's go, push. One more, let's go. Awesome job, okay. Well done. We are done with that section. We're gonna repeat it all again though. Okay, sip of water here. This is a great song. This reminds me of ski season. Okay. Okay, get into it. You can do this. I'm fired up now. I feel good. Okay. From the top, we do those rotating jump squats. Here we go. In four, in three, in two, in one. Let's go. These ones are really tough. Don't forget to use your arms if you need them. They're there for your momentum. Just keep the shoulders down, that back flat, those abs in. Chest is proud. I don't know how your downstairs neighbors feel about all the jumping. So far I don't have any complaints, but we'll see. Awesome. 30 seconds in. Let's go, push. Think about that marathon. Five, four, 
three, two, one, quick break, catch it. Okay, we're going into those front lunges with the twist. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, down and twist. Bring it back and switch. Make sure you're stepping out wide enough. Try to bring that back knee down to the floor. Awesome. Whew. This one, I think almost feels like a break in comparison. <laughs> Whew. Awesome, keep it up, keep it up. 15 seconds here. Can you pick up that pace? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Quick breath. Okay. Next one that comes, also feels like a bit of a break in contrast to those burpees that are after. It's those uh, knee to elbow crosses. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Now, don't forget, you add speed to this. This is one of those exercises that's really only as hard as you make it. Ooh, I just had like a brain moment. I was thinking about crossing the other leg in front. That feels weird. Try it. <laughs> awesome. Almost 30 seconds and let's go. Do the silence here. Another great song, we love Kaido. 10 seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going into those burpees. This is it. We take a cardio break after this, so really push it, okay? Big inhale, big exhale. Okay, we're going for 45 seconds of burpees this time. Don't think about it. Three, two, one, let's go, jump it up. Bring it down. Push it down, push it up, pop it in, bring it up, let's go. How fast can you make this? How quality can you take these movements? You got it, 20 seconds in. You're basically halfway. Let's go, push it, you have 15 seconds. You got this, you got this. Come on, come on. Less than 10, don't stop, don't stop. Here we go, four, three, two, and one. Take a break, awesome job, okay. I hope your hair looks as wild as mine. <sighs> okay, that was great, take a breath. I'm gonna demonstrate what our ab section is gonna look like next, okay? Oh, there's gonna be a little bit of cardio, but it's not gonna be bad. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with alternating plank jacks and push-ups. I'm gonna show you. So, move one is two plank jacks, wide legs, full push-up, okay? We do this alternating for 30 seconds. Move two, 30 seconds of crunches, you know what that looks like. Move three, we go into a plank, similar, our original first move was like a little foreshadow to this. Hold the plank, opposite arm and leg, come straight up, up and down, alternating, okay? Of course, you're doing opposite arms and legs at the same time. Then we go into a 30 second hollow body hold. That looks like this. You have options. This is the hardest option. The small of your back is pressed into the floor. Chest is proud, shoulders are away from the ears. This will make it a little easier, okay? The more you go towards a bend in the legs and arms forward, the easier it gets. You can pick anything in between those two. Okay, here we go. We're starting with those plank jacks and push-ups, 30 seconds. Here we go. Two jacks, one push-up, and again. So you'll notice every time you do a push-up, your legs are gonna be out and then in, alternating every time. 15 seconds here. Keep it up. Oh my God, these are hurt. Okay. Four, three, 
two, and one. Quick break, 10 seconds here. Big inhale, big exhale, we go into the crunches. 30 seconds, use almost like a break, it's easy. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Elbows are far apart, chest is proud. You're looking at a spot diagonally in front of you on the ceiling. Exhaling on that way up, you're halfway there. Speed it up, let's go. Push through. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, hold, hold, hold. Bring those legs up, hold. Excellent, drop it down. That was tricky, sorry. Okay, we're going into the planks with the alternating arms and legs. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds here. This one is not about speed, it's about control. You're already almost halfway. Keep it up, keep that bum down, those abs tight. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Quick breath. Okay. We go to that 30 second hollow hold. Sounds like nothing. Literally feels like hell. Like your abs are on fire. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hold that hold. You got it. Press that lower back into the floor. Glue those inner feet together like an open book and extend those arms back behind you. You're halfway there, let's go. You've got this, your shoulder blades are hovering off the ground. Your legs are out straight and strong for five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Okay, quick sip of water. You're crushing it. Okay, we're gonna repeat that section one more time. So, where can you improve this time? Where can you maybe go a little faster, make it a little bit more of a quality movement? Now you know what's happening. So let's see if we can double it up and make it better, okay? Okay, here we go. We start with those plank jacks. We're entering a new song. It's gonna feel good, it's gonna feel new and different. Oh, it's a good one. Okay, here we go. So 30 seconds, two plank jacks, one push up, okay? In four, in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Now don't forget, you can always bring this push up down to the knees. I didn't say that the first time, but if that makes it a better quality movement, that's what you do. I think that's what I'm gonna need to do. <laughs> Awesome, keep it up. Seven seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Quick breath, 10 seconds. Okay, we go into those crunches. You know what it is. You can make this one faster, I know you can. In four, three, two, here we go. Crunch it up, and up, and up. Exhaling on the way up, you got this. You've got this. Halfway there, let's go. You can always bring the legs up to hovering 90 degrees here for a little bit of an extra challenge. Four, three, two, hold it up, hold it up. Extend those legs out and down. That was like a tricky, sneaky, hollow body hold there. Okay, those alternating arms and legs in the plank. Here we go. Three, two, and one. You got this, let's go. We're working all parts of the body here and strength and cardio. You got this. You can always bring this one down to the knees too, okay? Looks like this. Keep it up, three, two, 
and one. Awesome job. Okay, that hollow body hold one last time. Here we go. Four, three, two, let's go. Hold it. Those legs are zipped together, inner feet are connected, shoulder blades hovering, arms are strong, legs are strong. You're already almost halfway. Keep that lower back pressed to the floor and breathe. You've got this. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, excellent job. Okay. We are done with that section. Well done, well done, okay. We're going into a strength section now. So what we're gonna be doing is a little bit more balance work and a little bit more strength, a little bit less cardio. So the first move, we're gonna do 30 seconds each side. The pick a leg comes out straight behind you, make sure you have enough room, and the arms come straight out in front of you, and then you're going to bring it in. I don't have quite enough room, but you're going to bring it in and side lunge, okay? So I'm going to show you guys in the front. It goes, okay, out and back, arms straight out in front of you, leg goes out straight, bring it in, down to the side, okay? 30 seconds of these. And then we switch sides. Then we go into a side plank with a leg lift, which we alternate will be on the floor. We're going to do side plank, little leg lift, pulses, 30 seconds each side. Then we go into some long leg fire hydrants, which we've seen before, but you're going to be on all fours. One leg comes out to the side and it comes up and down straight with the foot flexed, not pointed. And then we're just going into 30 seconds of push ups. And then we've got a booty sequence at the end, which I will show you and demonstrate as we go along. So it'll be too long to explain. So we're going to get started. So you can stand up, pick a leg. And I'll try to maybe go at an angle here so you can see all parts of the movement. So for 30 seconds, we'll let the song kind of like get going and that way maybe we can catch a breath more. Okay. We hear the drop coming. I really hope your music is on time with mine because it's working really well with the way the class is designed. Okay, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Stretch it out. Bring it in, lunge it to the side, just let it go straight. So your standing leg is really always relatively straight. Just a little bit of a micro bend in it. You've got this, awesome. That back is flat, those abs are tight. Drive that knee up, drive that foot back, bring it in. Lunge it out. Other side, here we go. Other leg comes up. Oop, watch your lamp. Everything goes out. Bring it back in. Hello. <laughs> awesome, keep it up. 15 seconds here. Up and back, in and down. Awesome. I know you're crushing it. I wish I could see you, but I know you're doing a great job. <laughs> Perfect. Three, in two, in one. Finish that movement. Perfect. Quick breath. We go right into the side planks on the ground. You can go on your hand or your elbow. I like being on my hand. Your feet can be staggered or one leg in front of the other. Doesn't really matter because we're going to be bringing that top leg up. So make sure that your hips are high up off the ground. We're not slouching down. Here we go. 30 seconds. Keep that move. Here we go. Up and down. Those, that leg, that upper leg is never coming down. If this is too hard, you can always take that bottom leg down and have it on the knee. You're halfway there. Let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. So some good lateral leg work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, switch sides. In four, three, two, here we go. Get in position. Ooh, I'm a little far, keep it up. 
This is really hard. <laughs> okay, almost halfway. Keep it going, keep it going. You have less than 15 seconds here, come on. Whew. We're going into those long leg fire hydrants in five, four, three, two, and one. Those ones are really tough. I took a little like instructor break there. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna position ourselves on all fours. I'll show you from the side quickly. We're gonna take one leg out to the side and it's gonna come up and down like straight, okay? You're gonna flex that foot. Here we go. In four, three, two, and one. Leg is out straight, up and down, up and down. So much lateral leg work here, but something that we don't do quite that much of. So we're really working it today. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Get that other side set up. I'm just gonna fix something on my phone here. Perfect. Gosh, I'm sweaty. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two. Here we go, other side. It's up and down and up and down. Keep it up <laughs> and down and up and down. Keep it up. You can't see me anyway, so I'm not gonna do it. Okay, you've got this. We're going to push ups after. So it's not gonna be, you're gonna have a little bit of a leg break. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, catching your breath. We're going right into push ups. These can be on your knees or your feet. You decide. I'm gonna probably start at my feet and then switch to knees. Here we go. In four, three, two, let's go. Down and up. Oh, my legs, my arms. Everything's a little tired now. Awesome. You can even alternate from knees to feet. 10 seconds. You've got this. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Quick breath here. Let's see. We're 37 minutes in already. We're already almost done with class. It's doing great. Okay. So we have an option here. <laughs> we can either do that section one more time or our cardio section one more time. I like to think this is a hit class. So let's do the cardio section one more time. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Take a second, drink your water. I'm gonna get a great song going here. That way we're fired up. Okay, yeah, this is a great one. Okay, here we go, here we go. So you can actually skip ahead. We're on the song Baby right now. And we're gonna skip ahead to the next song. So on my count, you can click next. Four, three, two, and one, click next. Awesome, okay, this is a classic. So we're gonna hit that cardio section one more time. We start with those rotating jump squats. Let's not think about it, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds here. <sighs> Surprised you with that coming back, eh? Surprised myself a little bit too, but I do think it works well. <sighs> awesome. Halfway there, let's go. You've got this, 10 seconds. Let's go. This is the last one. Four, three, two, and one. Quick breath. Okay, here we go. We do those lunges forward with the twist. In four, in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Oh, it feels good. I love it. Please let me know how you like the way this class is organized. I always love the feedback, but we're not done yet. <laughs> awesome, 10 seconds. <sighs> Abs are tight. <sighs> Chest is proud. Three, two, and one. Quick breath. Okay. Standing cross knees. Here we go. In four, 
three, two, and one. Keep it up, keep it up. Awesome job. You got it. I do love when we have some kind of twist in these standing movements and really get an opportunity to engage the core more. Three, two, and one. Awesome, quick break here. Okay, we go right into the burpees. This is your last move, this is it. Okay, oh, I forgot our booty sequence. Well, save it for next time. Okay, burpees, 30 seconds. We'll let the song get to the good part. Give you another second to catch your breath. Take a nice emotional lap around your mat here. Get your head in the game. Do what you need to do. It actually feels really good to do a little lap sometimes. Okay. These are gonna be the best burpees of your life. Whew. Okay, we've got eight seconds here. I'm accumulating energy like crazy. Maybe we should do 45 seconds. We'll do 45. Okay, that beat's dropping. Here we go. You hear it. I know you hear it. Oh, I'm amped. I'm amped. You got this. Okay. Let's go. Up and down. Bring it all the way down and up. You got this. 45 seconds total. That's nothing. We've done it before. We can do it again. Let's go, Em. Come on. You're crossing the finish line. Let's go. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds. Through the silence. It's a nice added challenge. I see you moving forward. Four, three, two, and one. Oh. Well done. Oh my goodness. You can't even tell how sweaty I am. Great job. Great, great job, you guys. Okay, we're gonna take you to a stretch. Whew. I'm gonna bring you down to the floor with me. I really feel like a vlogger. <laughs> great, that was an awesome 40 minute workout. My knee is sweating. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna take a moment and sit here and catch my breath. <sighs> awesome, okay. When you're ready, we're gonna start with like a little bit more of an active stretch to cool down our, our heart rate. I'm gonna scooch you back a little bit. Hello. <laughs> okay, great. So you can go right into a down dog. Just press those heels back. Pedal them out. Big deep breaths here, catching our breath. Awesome. One more big breath here. When you're ready, bring it into a plank, drop those knees into child's pose. Oh, such a healing, healing pose. Awesome. A great moment here to feel gratitude for all the things that we're capable of doing with our bodies. It's really, really special. We're very fortunate. Awesome. All right. When you're ready, you can take a seated position, putting one leg out straight decrumpling the back, big inhale, and folding forward. Awesome, oh, look at that fun baby hair. My hair gets wild when I work out. I literally don't know what it is, but it's quite, it's quite unique. <laughs> awesome, get a good deep stretch there. It's really important that we hold our stretches for a minimum of 30 seconds to a minute to actually benefit from an actual stretch. You start feeling it right away, but you don't start stretching until 30 seconds in. 
So I'll just chat with you to keep you here, <laughs> hopefully. Awesome, you can take it a little deeper. Once it starts stretching, it gets easier because it's actually stretching out. It's fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> awesome. <sighs> I needed that, I feel much more energized. All right, excellent. Bring it up, switching sides here. I'll face you a little bit more. Okay, big inhale, decrumpling. Sitting bones are on the mat, planted firmly and falling towards that foot wherever you land. I kind of like this more intimate stretching rather than like you being far away from me. But let me know what you think about that. I just find it adds a more like personal human experience. Like we're hanging out after our workout. <laughs> I should talk to my neighbor downstairs and see what they think about all of this. It's a lot of jumping up and down. At least it's not like 7 a.m. Okay, getting deeper in that stretch now. Awesome. I feel this one in my lower back quite a bit as well, but flex that foot towards you, those, to those toes towards you. Awesome, okay, bring it up. You can bring those feet together into a butterfly position, hip opener, pressing those elbows into your calves or right in between your thigh and calf if you can. If not, you can just land where you land, where you feel a stretch. We're gonna do a couple hip and bum stretches after this because we really worked our legs today. There we go, gotta tame the baby hairs. Baby hairs are my energy though, I have to say. There's just something about them. Okay, good. I think we definitely got our heart rates up today. Check that one out later. Awesome. Okay, releasing that stretch. Um, we'll go into a quick down dog one more time here, just to get ourselves into the position for um, our pigeon pose. So from here, big inhale, bring a knee in, bring it back out, stretching it up straight, and back in and down into your pigeon pose. Awesome. Great, hi. <laughs> so keeping your neck long here and your shoulders away from your ears, you can be on your forearms. I'll try to show you a bit better. Be on your forearms here. You can be up on your hands. You can be all the way down here, whatever feels good. Again, as you hold the stretch longer, it'll actually start feeling like it's getting stretched out while you're doing it, which is a great sign, which means you can probably go a little deeper. And it's okay for this to be more active. You can roll that hip around a little bit more rather than just being stable on that leg, not moving, up to you. Great. Okay, excellent. So bringing it back up to the hands here, holding for a moment, stretching that neck out straight, shoulders pressed down. Awesome, you can press down into that downward dog. We're gonna do the same thing, switching sides. Knee comes in, stretches back out straight behind and lands down. Excellent. Oh man, my hair is just really something. This feels so good. Now you can always do your own stretching after. You don't have to like listen to me ramble the whole time, but it keeps me focused and present doing this even if I'm just talking to my phone. Okay. Awesome. I don't know what song's playing for you right now, but I'm listening to one that's gotten like pretty aggressive. <laughs> it's harsh in my mellow. Okay, up to the hands here. Excellent. Okay, when you're ready, bringing it back on all fours. And I'm going to bring you back a little bit more here. Perfect. So you can bring one leg forward and we're just gonna uh, stretch that 
back, legs, hip, and you can press this. It can be active. I'm really giving quite an under shot here. <laughs> Holding that one for 30 seconds or so, but it can also be active. You can go back and forth from this to stretching the back leg, bringing the toes towards your upper body. This one feels great as well. If you have a Theragun, you know, go for it. Feels great. Awesome, same thing other side. I'm starting to cheat a little bit now because I'm getting a little bit bored of my own stretches. Say la vie, what can I say? I don't think anybody likes stretching that much. <laughs> I do love a good hip stretch though, I have to say. My hips are always so tight, especially from all the running. Oh, I feel that. Okay, one more, one more. We can do this. Awesome, okay. One last thing we're gonna do, because we did do our arms quite a bit as well, is just clasp the hands behind you. Awesome. Bring the shoulders down, and then just bring it forward. Pulling gently on each hand, stretching that upper back out in between the shoulder blades. Oh, awesome. Bring both arms up. We're almost done, we're almost done. Use this as an opportunity to like flex your biceps or something, make yourself feel good. <laughs> okay. And up and other side. Push that elbow into the hand rather than pushing down on the elbow with your hand. It's like an op opposing movement. Awesome. Okay, shake it out. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun working on today. Um, and yeah, see you at the next Sweat with Soap.